It is a snowy day outside today and the wood stove is running. I happen to have planned for dinner a pot of navy beans and ham. So I wanna show you the technique I've developed including the one key that helps me cook really good beans on my modern wood stove. This is a wood stove with an insulated top. I have a pound and a half of navy beans that are soaking in the kitchen and some broth and a bunch of dried herbs and spices from our garden that are gonna make this the best tasting pot of beans ever. But speaking of the pot, let's talk about what kind of pots you can use on a wood stove. And let's also clarify the wood stove. This is what you'd call a modern or contemporary wood stove. It is cast iron that's coated in enamel. It has an insulated top. It is not a fabricated metal box. What I'm talking about today would not be applicable to cooking on one of those fabricated, welded metal box type wood stoves. We're focusing in on the contemporary wood stove that many people have in their homes to heat their house that are not necessarily intended for cooking. But I'm gonna share the tip that will help you be able to use this for cooking. So what kind of pot can you use on your modern wood stove? Basically, any pot that you can use on your kitchen stove will work. So stainless steel is good, cast iron's good, enamel coated cast iron is good. The only thing you want to avoid for cooking something like beans on a wood stove would be a thin enamel ware pot, like sometimes called speckle ware or granny ware. They have a very thin metal bottom and the food may stick and burn. So another option for cooking pots, if you, if you happen to have it, would be one of these clay pots, Italian clay pot made by De Silva. And I've got several pieces that I just keep over by the wood stove so they're ready and handy for cooking. You can find these oftentimes at home goods and other kitchenware type of shops. And I really like cooking with clay. I think it adds some special qualities. It does need to be pre-soaked. This pot, you can see, has an unfinished bottom. I soaked it in a sink full of lukewarm water and allowed the pores in the clay to take up some of the water and that will contribute to the cooking of our beans. Well, let's get to the kitchen and get started. Here are the soaked beans. We're going to add those to the pot. And I have a cube of broth. This was actually just drippings from making a roast. And I always save things like that and freeze it because it adds so much flavor to food later on. I'm going to add the cubed ham. And this is about, oh, what did I say? This was three cups of three cups of beans and you know you don't have to use ham. I've got an assortment of herbs and spices here. A bay leaf, I'll add a nice handful of oregano because we love that taste in beans. Some sage leaves, crumble those up and add them and then some thyme, a little bit of that. I also have a whole lot of dried parsley from that last year's garden. So this is a good excuse to use some of that. I included the stems when I dried it, so I'm just crumbling it all up and we'll throw it in there. I think we'll add some more. Parsley adds a nice fresh flavor. To add some water now. I chose a pot that has quite a bit of room in it, remembering that Beans can easily triple in size while cooking. And of course, we don't want them to boil over. So I'm adding water to within about three inches from the top and the beans are under by about an inch or two of water. And then the big secret is we're starting it on the kitchen stove. If I were to put this pot directly on the wood stove, it would take forever. 
if it ever came to a boil. In fact, it probably wouldn't because I've tried that a number of times. So just first putting it on the kitchen stove and turning it up and bringing it to a, to a low boil is really the key to success with cooking on a modern insulated top wood stove. Stir these together. Oh boy, that's gonna be good. And we'll add a lid and let it do its thing and we'll check back in a little while. I also wanted to let you know the recipe for today is in the link in the pinned comment in the description box below. And there will be another link to a post on my website called 10 Tips for Cooking on a Modern Wood Stove. And that contains a chart that has all kinds of helpful information so that you can cook not only beans on your wood stove, but also things like soups and stews, broth, applesauce from whole apples, uh, hot beverages, and even poach a chicken or cook a roast in a pot on your wood stove. So go check it out. So since this is a clay pot, I need to treat it a bit more gently than I would something like, say, a stainless steel pot. I won't be starting on high heat. I'll be starting on medium low, and after a while, I'll increase the heat. And while this is heating, I am going to go out and shovel some snow. Well, the beans have reached a boil. Mmm, oh, that smells good. You'll notice I didn't add salt. The reason for that is that I added ham, and ham is very salty. So I will probably taste the beans a little later on and see if they need salt. We can transfer the pot to the wood stove to continue cooking. Now that we brought the beans to a boil on the stove, they will continue to simmer on the wood stove. It's important to leave the lid on. You can take it off, of course, occasionally to stir and check that nothing is sticking, but make sure to put the lid back on so that it cooks well. Keeping the container closed helps conserve the heat and keeps it cooking evenly. Depending on the beans, it may take half an hour, an hour, two hours, it's going to partially depend on the heat generated by your fire. So make sure that you have some good hot coals in your wood stove and you're doing this on a, on a cold day, so that's not a problem. And keep feeding the fire as necessary so that, you, so that your dinner will cook. I decided to make a quick batch of fluffy buttermilk rye drop biscuits to go with our beans tonight. So those are ready to eat, they're warm. And I think it's time to dish up our beans. Oh, it's hot in there. Mm. And I've enjoyed the smell of this cooking all day. It's been so nice on a cold day. Now you know the test for determining if beans are ready, right? Dig up a few on a spoon and blow gently on them. If the skins start to peel away, that tells you that the beans are tender. And then it's also a good idea to test a few. And I said a few, not just one or two, because beans don't always cook at the same rate. They're just right. Yum. Got two nice mugs full of navy beans and ham for dinner, and this is going to be delicious. We have our biscuits to go with it, buttermilk and rye drop biscuits. These are soft and fluffy inside, and they're gonna be so good with honey. One of my favorite ways to serve beans or stew or even soups is to add greens to the bowl. I usually put them on the bottom, but this time I'll put them on top. These are buckwheat and this is radish. I've been growing these greens all winter and I'll put a snip 
several snips actually into each mug and that way we'll be getting our greens along with the bulk of our dinner. Well, thank you for joining me here today at Chocolate Box Cottage as we made navy beans and ham on a modern wood stove. I hope this gives you ideas for things that you can cook on your wood stove.